Meet Fred Schmidt. Uh, he and his wife Suzanne are gearing up for a bike ride. A lot of stuff to get ready. <laughs> Fred and Suzanne don't just take leisurely pedals. They are both skilled mountain bikers. Okay, we're ready. <laughs> we're very fortunate. The trails start about 30 feet from my driveway. Those trails are part of a 20-mile network along the Brazos River at Waco's Cameron Park. Ooh, ooh. The trail system has provided the perfect opportunity to take up mountain biking a little later in life. What do you want to do then, Freddie? You want to go down and do uh, Slinky in yeah, California? Yeah, do Slinky. My wife gave me a bike in 1994, and uh, I could hardly ride the thing in Cameron Park, but I started trying. Nice way to start off is all downhill. Yes. <laughs> I'll be 78 this month, Yeehaw. so yeah, I'm pretty much of an old old guy. For someone pushing 80, yeah. Fred certainly keeps moving. I never have been one who sat around much. Ooh. My wife tells me I'm hyperactive. So. <laughs> Cycling is something that anybody can do. All that loose stuff gets me. Helps us both stay oh. active. Though Fred did not begin until his 60s, biking quickly became his passion. You remember this? Before long, he was racing in competitions in Texas yeah. and beyond. When people ask why you race, you can always say it's for the podium girls. <laughs> They're some of your very first races. Boy, I was younger than wasn't I? <laughs> <laughs> this was Tyler. By now, their photo album is running out of pages. Cold and muddy. Where was that? Idaho, wasn't it? Yeah, Sand Point. Big Bear, California, mm -hmm. outside of Phoenix. Beautiful. Beautiful. When I look at this, I'm astounded how many places I've raced and how many places I've ridden. It's just extraordinary. Though the Schmidts travel the country for biking events, they feel fortunate for the wealth of bike trails in Texas. Texas is a lovely place to be a biker. Where are we going? We're going up to... Uh, Drain Pipe. Drain Pipe, okay. Cameron Park has more miles than most but many local parks offer paved and unpaved trails for biking. And across the state, dozens of state parks offer biking opportunities as varied as the geography. In the Dallas area, mountain bikers have multiple options within an hour's drive. Cedar Hill State Park is a favorite destination. It is an escape right here in the middle of the Metroplex. We want everybody to come out and be able to enjoy it at their level, take their time if they want to. It goes right by the lake. We're right here in Chillhead. But even for the most advanced rider, there's plenty of challenge. You've got some really thick wooded sections, sections that you go along the lake, followed by some prairies, so, so a good variety. As you ride and you, as you run through the, through the park, you're gonna be engaged. You won't be bored. I like the diversity of the trails. They're not necessarily real technical, but they're beautiful. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We have a lot of switchbacks, a lot of climbing, some long slopes that'll wear you out. But of course, and that means you got a nice downhill coming. There's always a reward at the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> One reason cyclists enjoy these trails so much is that they built and maintain them. Dorba does a really good job of organizing the, the trail work days. Knock that mesquite down. Dorba is the acronym for the Dallas Off-Road Bicycle Association. The trail itself has been 100% maintained by volunteer hours. Last year was a record year for us. Uh, we had over 10,000 hours contributed to trail maintenance in North Texas. And on this trail alone, we exceeded over 750 hours. That's in one year. Hit those mesquite stumps with your weed eater. Most of our work is in cutting back the vegetation. It's a labor of love. Especially as much as we're out here, we owe it. But you know, we're past that now. I mean, this is where we want to be. How are you doing? Good. good to see you again. This is a good way to stop work. Cold drink of water and breakfast. We take a lot of pride in the trail. We're out here anywhere from two to five times a week running, riding the trails, or maintaining the trails. This place is like a gym in the Metroplex. I would highly recommend it. Oh my gosh, it's the sun. Wow. Of course, Cedar Hill is just one park with scenic trails near a city. San Antonio has Government Canyon. Near Houston is Brazos Bend. 
or if you'd like to bike as far from a city as possible, you might prefer a place like Big Bend Ranch State Park. I just love the feeling of isolation that you get out there. If you want to be remote, that's the place to be. Fred and Suzanne have biked all around the state, but today they are in the Texas Panhandle. Well, we came here to uh, do this mountain bike race here at Paladura Canyon. Nice little place we picked here today. Huh? Beautiful. We are so proud of the Texas state parks. Turkey? They are beautiful. My goodness, look at that. There's a turkey right by your back door. So I think he's walking back over there. Bird watching, geology, you oh, name it. Llano Estacado, as they call it. The bicycle is a great way to see a lot of area. Usually when we go to a place for a race, we're there for a few days in advance to look at the trails. And so I get to ride all the race trails with him, but without the pressure. Look at the scenery. It's a lovely setting. I mean, it's exquisite. There are good trails out here, and I'm looking forward to it. Now Fred is no stranger to the excitement of race day. I've been world champion twice, national champion numerous times. It's been fun. We are now staging for Cat 1 and Pro. Staging for Cat 1 and Pro, we need all racers to the back, please. Have fun. <laughs> Two nine-mile laps, 18 miles. Good luck, guys. If things go well, I should be able to do it an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes. Group of racers here today. Let's cheer them up. Go, 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 go! Uh, frankly, I've never really analyzed why I do it. It's just a challenge to do, and I like winning, obviously, but I like riding, and I like riding in competition. I felt okay, but I rode hard. I've ridden it a long time. Oh, and you come to some little steep hills there. <laughs> it's very hard racing. I do enjoy providing support. There's lots of doggy support. Here he comes. I'm okay. Okay. Go get him, Freddy. 45 seconds. He's not that far behind those guys. <sighs> The throws are coming in. Frederick Smith, third place. Hi, Freddie. Uh, Ready to win. This time, Fred has to settle for third place in his division. There you go. Woo. I set it R and 40 and got R and 43, I think. Yeah, good job. Of course, just crossing the finish line is a victory. You did really great. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, did you hear me cheering? If I didn't race, I wouldn't train. If I didn't train, I wouldn't ride well, so. <laughs> so another race in another pretty place seems to have been fun for all sorts of people. It's a great place to bike. Best place in the world. You gotta clean me up. <laughs> it's a wonderful community. They don't care how old you are. It's something that you can do for a lifetime, definitely. Oh, man. I like the fact that people look at me and say, well, maybe I can continue to be athletic and in reasonable good health for a, for a long time. On to the next one. <laughs> <laughs>